So I want to get, uh, continue on in the Sodka class here from the car where I can. And uh, we're on page uh, Yud Dalad in the Tev of the Yud Chaim. And uh, on that page, we starting with number two. Number two uh, that is number Tesla. And we'll read up above and we'll see how, we, how it goes up there. And it says, V'daki ha'or ha'zeh e'nenu davok v'nogeh b'pane matzma. The light that's coming out of the ears is not actually clinging on to the face. V'ho v'chove v'sochei ha'lechem. So when it's surrounding it, so it's lush lush and schach. So it's like a covering over it, but it's not really clinging to it. Lo nispasha d'or ha'zeh v'lo v'ach re'apane v'lo v'gol apane. So it's not everywhere on the face. It goes around the beard, and it doesn't go around the back of the face. Rock but stade upon him will vod kinisker, but only on the sides of the face. Vizet havin hagdam acheres, and now you can understand another basic principle. The hippe bechinis a rosh ein anum askir the older bechinis upon him vach vachor. So we just said the word ah. We just so he says that in um, regards to the head. We don't normally mention the concept of face and back. The face of a makam she'en sham the kavim v'cholomas because in a place where there's no openings, there's no windows. Oz yotza or kulos shove because it's dadim and meir v'shavas. In all the world, the light comes out equal, and it's all on the side equally. Am nam kishem maske bechinis in the kavim, but when 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 uh, we have openings. For like, for example, from the ears going downwards, as ye shamba bechinis panim ba'ach. So now we have a concept of panim ba'ach. Before that, there was just one light, but now that you have openings, the openings get much much stronger on the front. Then you have a concept of front and back. Before that, this is the creation of concept front and back. Ki hametzach nikra panim because the forehead is called panim. Orif nikra ach, and the or, or the back of the neck is called back. The fish should call him a nikavim mamshicha maoris lochutz derek upon it because all of the the openings they pull the light or they extend the light uh, outside through the face towards the face. So so he says the masha ain bo nikavim nikra bechinas ach. So a place that doesn't have these openings is called back. A book in Kalze, Mina Ara Saor Hazem is Pasha, the mayor called Sabiba Zahad Nazem. But even with all of these qualifications, the light that comes out does go all the way around this man. A book in Kalze, Mina Ara Saor Hazem is Pasha, the mayor called Sabiba Zahad Nazem. But even with all of these qualifications, the light that comes out does go all the way around this man. A book in Kalze, Mina Ara but the amount, the amount of light that we're talking about, the main quantity of light that we're talking about, is going to be on the front. Let's go down the beard side until it comes down to the fulcrum of the beard. And let's see what the light print is here, and we'll start with number two, number Tesvav. He says that on the phrase "Vadaki Yahor Chazeh Enu Davuk B'Nogeh B'Panim Atzman." Light Prince says, Lerotzel Loma Oros Ela Shiyatsim in Elas Nine. Now we're talking about the lights that come from the ears. Ein Ora Monach Alapanim Mamish. It does not place on the face itself. He's repeating really pretty much what the Rav says. Elahu Chofef. It surrounds Melamala Kolobu Shainu Nogea. That is, it's it's around it, but it doesn't touch it. So then it says, Velo Nispashe to Or Hazelu Lo the Achre Alapanim. It doesn't go around the back. Uh, of a little book called upon him, and not every place on the face. Let's see what the light print says. He says, "Kashu yata ha'oras min haznayim lo nispashet oram el achre upon him the height of a makom ha'or." If it doesn't go around the back of the head to the neck, the back of the neck. Vav lo nispashet be makom parts of a adam shaba omdim ha'enayim achoy dibar pes. It also doesn't go to the light of the ears. It doesn't go to the place where the eyes are. It doesn't go to the place where the nose is or the mouth. Rock yotze b'tzadadi upon it, but rather it goes to the fast sides of the face. Bilvad only. Hayde b'makom she only ma'aznayim she b'sham yotze or b'nim she l'maka. That is the place of the ears, down below the ears, and that's the way it goes. So now I, I guess that what I have to do is I really have to read in the down below part because it's getting a little bit too hard. Keep going back and forth. So I'll read Yud Zayin again. Now here's another principle. We give a bechinis a rosh, ain't anamaz kirim, but all the bechinis panim ba'ach. 
we don't use the concept which is now he's introducing us to we talk about the head we're not going to talk about panim ba'ach we're only going to talk about panim the feet should be makam she'en sham the coffee because in a place where there's no holes of the cholonos az yotza ha'or kulo shava because it's the be meyer b'shava so if there's light coming out and there's no openings then of course whatever light that comes out is going to be the same whether it's on the front or the back so let's see how he so what, what he's want to say is that where there's openings though that changes the equation we call parts of yeshtam shnei bechinos now we introduce this concept rishon and ikras ponim so the, every parts of has two different ideas here one is called ponim shu hatzad shibo nim soim anayim v'chot v'el peh so this is the place we find the eyes the nose the ears and the mouth v'sham hu makam yitziyas ha'oros and this is where the lights come out from ak v'abahidah hashni and ikras ach Achor, but we use the word ach. Shu chatzad shachre upon him shabo, shabo hu ha'ora fein sham makom yitzias ha'ora. So this is a place in the back of the head, in the back of the neck. It's a place where no lights come out. Hine kol achidak shal upon him ach. So now we have a concept of what upon him and what ach means. Hu shayich rak b'makom sheyesh from the kaddish of a sochem yotzei ma'oras. But when we use that. That concept, and we're only talking about the places where lights are coming out from. See, he says, "Kagon min avaznayim the ak v'lamata." Like, for example, the eyes and the ears are going downward. What's next? What's next is going to be the nose and the mouth, or possibly the eyes. Ak bekar kafta the ak. But if we're talking about the top of the skull of ak, Hashem aim the kavin. There are no holes there. Or he also mitoch a karkafta, and then whatever light that's coming out of the top of the skull, mayor b'shava because it's a dada, but then it's it's shining equally every place. There's no special place where you would be able to identify front and back. The only way you can get front and back is by going downwards, and then you start to see there's a front and a back. Zay b'zeh ain't lo shayach lo lo mor bechinas panim ba'ach. So therefore, we don't see that this concept panim ba'ach. He wants to let you know once again that even though we don't really talk about this, we don't have rishus to talk about it. So, but even if we did have rishus to talk about it, we'd have to say that whatever light is coming out of it is going to be equal in all sides. We wouldn't be able to tell which was front, which was back. So now when he uses the word karkafta, he means like in other parts of it where we can talk about, let's say, the the, the uh, karkafta of Aragonpen, for example, there we have something we can talk about because it's a much dimmer light, it's a much lower level of light, something that we can see better. Let's look at number Yud Ches. Number Yud Ches says, "Am no kishu maske bechinas in the kovik can go minachas nine lamat." But now we see that there are openings, and we begin to see what's going on in the ears. As yesh shal bechinas panim va'ach. So there we see that there is a there is a something called panim va'ach. The metzach nikra panim va'orif nikra ach. Fish called it the kavva ma'amshich and ma'oris luchutz derek upon it because all of the openings extend the lights outside through the face. Masha ain bo nikavva nikra bechinas ach. So if you don't have panim, but automatically you're called. Excuse me, you don't have. If there's an area in ach that we see does not have openings, that area is going to be called the acharayim. The ach. The mata min the karkavta shasham hein be bechinas in the kavva. So the place in the karkavta where she. Uh, so when you go down for the top of the skull, and then you start running into openings, so he shame anayim ha'ozev v'chotem ha'peh. Now there's a reason why he puts the anayim in parenthesis, but we're not going to get to that yet because the eyes don't work with the ozev v'chotem peh. We're going to see that there is a such thing that's called achap, achap, by the acrostic of this name. And uh, we're going to be dealing with the Ozen Chotem Peh uh, uh, later on. So, but the Ainim are different. They re- really refer to a different Olam. That's what we get, we'll get into that. So he says, This is where the lights come out. Then it's Shayach, they have a concept of Ponim and Ach. And so therefore, for the ears downward, then we have a shaykhus to that concept of Panim Ba'ach. For who be bechinas upon him, yesh no ribui or yosim magasher be bechinas ha'ach. So therefore, we see that on the on the face, you're going to have a multiplicity of light much more than you're going to have in the back. 
Ata Chodek Mubayar Mal Tzad Panev and Tzad Ach Begabir Aznaim. So the relationship to the ears now is going to come. He's going to start explaining what's the difference between the front and the back. The number yud tas avod im kol ze min aras haor hazeh mispashu the mayor calls the people to other mezeh. But even so, that the majority of the light is really concentrated in the front because that's where the openings are. But nonetheless, there is light all the way around this ark. Avod ikar haor hazeh and ena rak man shukenega the oizen. Like we say, for example, that the the main part of the light. The, Great abundance of the light is going to be corresponding to the ear, connected Derek upon him at Shabbos Zakan, and that's going to run the, through the face, around the face, until it reaches to the bottom of the beard. Now, uh, let's see what he says. Uh, it looks like to me that we have a little Kabbalah coming up here. Afsha Amarno, Asha Amarno, Shaor Mayor be eager beside the him. In the Kavanah Shabbatzada Ach Ein Bo Shum Or, it doesn't mean to say that there's no. If we say that the main part of the light is in the front, it doesn't mean because that's where the openings are. It doesn't mean that there's no light that gets around the back at all. Yeh Or is a Yod said him in the Chaznaim the Ach the Irim Heim the Lufan the Vehim the Achra they shine on him in the front and in the back too. We came to Shnei Tzadam and say also on his two sides. About Ika Ha'or Ho Yotem and Ha'ozen Shabbatzad Yomim, but the main part of the light that comes out to the ear, that is the right ear on the right side, Min Ha'ozen Shabbatzad Small, or the ear that's on the left side, Meir B'makom Yitziyasa, they shine from the place that they come out of the ears, Shuchu B'shnei Tzadi upon him, which is on these two sides of the face, V'yorid Ha'or Mispashe, the Mata Katsura Sasakan, so it goes down and it spreads along the face, in, in the form of the beard, umakif es aponim mishne tzadadim, and now it surrounds the face from two sides. His pashta zechab or lamata, he ad shabbos is a kan. How far does it go? It goes down to the down below the chin. The nimsach of the mata mitachas the pe, and it's down below, below the mouth. Kan sar lahakdim akdama achas. Now I want to tell you a. I don't know what the right word for Akdam is, but it means a basic principle that you need to know to go forward. Like all the light now is going downwards. So as it goes down further, then it's revealed more. We see it more because as you're getting further away from the source of the light, where it's coming out from the ear, then it starts to thicken. So there, when it's up at its highest place, its highest level, if it's at the karkafta, or even if it's at the ears, it's very, very difficult to have any appreciation or reaching of what it could be. So when we go to the highest possible place, it would be the thread of the Ainso if we have no ability to be able to have a concept or any understanding what it is at all. And now, that same light, which is covered over by Adam Kadmo, now it's going to go out of Ak, and then it's going to go through these holes or the openings that are in Ak, then we start to be able to see them in the concept of lights and systems of lights. But they're not some. They're not kaili. What's a kaili? Kaili is a vessel that can hold the light. So the light is there, but there's nothing surrounding it that allows it to function. So these lights that are coming out of the ears, they all they look in the form of a hay. Now I can't really understand this 100 percent, but he's gonna tell us what it is, and it's up for our imaginations to be able to percolate through this. Behind the shows hay more kevis mishtehalokim. So they actually when we look at the letter hay, we can see that it's graphed together from two different different portions. So as we look at it from the right side going leftwards, the first part would be like a letter Dawid. And then the inside one, that is the one on the furthest of the left, would be like a Vav. And make the word do. Then they look like this. That's a hay. It's a hay made out of a Dawid the Vav. If you count them up, they count up to be number 10. 
That's six and uh, and four, four and six. Communion as a sphero. So it's an allusion to the fact that this our light that's coming out is like a source or an origin, uh, a shorish, a root of where the concept of ten spheros is going to come. But os he atma, mikulvenes kenegat hamisha parts of him anklaliim. So then the letter he, when it's just by itself and not divided up. Is is a reference to the five parts of it, which are arich, arich erik adpin, ava ima zava nok. So those are the five parts of it. So we see that this is the shorish of it coming out of the eyes, uh, the ears of ah. Acher kach yotzim oris min echotem. Then you're going to see that lights are going to come out of the chotem. Shulu the matim oris ha'ozin. It's down below because we understand. Look at your face. You see that your 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 nostrils or the openings in your in your nose are going to be below the openings in your ears. Vaz mizgala ha'or yoser. Then there's a greater revelation of the light. Ba'ofen shahaoz vav shabatoch oz heg and mizkeres in the way that the letter vav. It's inside of the letter He, Yotzev and Nizgala, Al Yadeshe Mizchalekas, the Shisha Halofim. So now he says that it goes on, and it goes out, and it's divided into six different uh, different Alephs. So let me read this again. He says, and it's great, Yotzev and Nizgala, so he says, Sha Oz Vav, Shabbosoch the He, and his garrets, Yotzev and Nizgala, and goes out, is revealed, Al Yadeshe Mizchalekas, the Shisha Halofim. She shall love him then is going to make the number six because the olive is a one. Behind the sheish pamim os olives. So now you have six olives. The oven shekavar yesh not his chalkos gedoy little pratim yoser shall shisha oras pratim. So now we see that inside of this is also a, a, a it's not just the six and a four. But it's actually the six can be broken down into six different parts. And then after that, that's the lights that are coming out of the nose. Then there's lights that are going to come out of the mouth. Which is going to be more specific. Then you look at the dollar that's part of the Oseh. That's going to be revealed. You're going to be able to see it better. First you just see a hay. Then you can see that the hay can be divided into a, into a vav and a dalit. Then you can see that the vav can be divided into six alafim. Then you can see that the dalit is going to be able to be the, uh, be divided. And so he says, the, the dalit, the atzma, shabbos, hey, and this garis, misgala, vaz mispashet, is the arba alafim, and it becomes four alafs. So now what we said originally that it was six and four that the, the hay could be a, a dalad and a vav. Now as it comes out of the mouth that we can see in the, the nose of the mouth we see that the vav is actually six olives and we actually see that the dalad which is coming out of the mouth is going to be four dalads. So now here's a much more concrete a, a aspect of that. So he says, let me get this right. Bahare came with Sara Uros Mulogan, the Gomri, the Gidli Ram. There's a tremendous revelation at this point of, of this uh, of this of these letters. Vain and Ramazim Baos Acha Bilvad. It's not just the hay that we can start splitting up, but now we've got ten olives. Now, this is very interesting what's going on with this olive. And we have to understand that one of the ways, as we said before, that the Rav allows us to understand how the world is made is by letters. There's a lot, lot more to be said about this, and it will be said. It's not such an easy concept for me. Let's go to number Kaf. So now in this light, I don't know which one he's coming. We're talking about the, I'm sure, I'm thinking he's came out of the light of the, of the Ozen. Now he's bringing a new idea. He's bringing the concept of two different types of ore. One type of ore is called ore makif, that is the surrounding light. Uh, that is coming out of the right ear. So then ten spheros or benimi, so that is a light within the light that surrounds us. There's a surrounding light and there is an interior light. So he said, So now we say that something about the spheros themselves, which I don't know, we haven't seen it, excuse me, over here. I know that it's in the uh, the Oser uh, Chaim uh, of the Mount of the Vash, uh, where he talks about the definition of the word sphera, 
And I think that he really likes the idea of sapphire as being the, uh, the closest. I would think a sphere it means a ball or something like that, like a sphere. But he didn't, it doesn't entertain, seem to entertain that idea. Some kind of glowing, which would be something like a sapphire. That seems to be the idea that I get. Uh, at any rate, maybe he'll get to that. I'm not sure. Maybe he already did. I missed it. I don't know. So let's look at the light print over here. So he says, Orosa Oza, Yesh Behem Esus The lights that come out of the ears have ten spheros. Kamo Kol Or HaKolome Esus Spheros. Every light has ten spheros in it. Vavsha Or Zel, Yotzim Echaznaim Da'ak. Now, specifically, the quick case is, he is by this light that's coming out of the ears of Ak, Enbo Esus Spheros Bagulos. But it's not ten spheros that are revealed. Im Kol Zel, Yesh Bo Esus Spheros Behelem. As has been explained, or we're going to explain, is, is that it's actually like these ten spheros are really, there's only what you call a reference to them. That means it's hidden within it, but we said before that the letter He could be divided up into a dollar and a vav, which means ten. But you can only get that from, from referring to it, it's not obvious. Now, this is another idea. Every light can be divided into two lights. There's a light on the inside and a light that surrounds it. Now, what the or panimi is, is a light that goes in and is enclosed inside of a vessel. Now, remember, you said before that at the stage that we're talking here, we really don't have vessels. Maybe we have the origins of vessels. We're going to start talking about it. So we see here that the concept of an ore that's makif is an ore that can't go into the vessel because it's too strong. The vessel can't hold it. So the similar idea here is that we have two different lights coming in, coming out of the ears, rather. One is called the or panimi, and the other one is called the or makif, the surrounding light. I should call Echad Mechem Yotze B'Tzuras Hey on his Kara. So each one of them looks like a Hey. That's all it looks like. Again, it's only a reference to the fact that there's ten there. Or Hamaki the Yosa Yosa Mehulam in Epinimi. So now we have a concept. Uh, let's see what he says about right and left. The higher level of the light comes out of the right. So it's the it's it, the that is it's the Makif is a higher level light that is you know again think about it. It's not a light like you look at, you know, the different uh, wattages that we have, like, uh, out, you know, any place at the stadium's got some real bright lights. It's the opposite. These lights are the lights that are coming from the Ain so they're coming from something which is endless and has no form. So the greater the less formed light is, uh, the least, the most diff more difficult it is for it to fit into a kli, which is more physical because it could turn the kli into nothing. Again, the same kind of concept, it's all backwards. So, so that light, the Lord of the Makif, is coming out of the right here. But this interior light, which is really less than the surrounding light, it comes out of the left, light, left ear. The two of them together. The crime esus sphere shalimo. So therefore, we see that in a sphera you have a panimius and you have a maki as well. You have panimi below maki, but in the maki below panimi, in the shalimo shall esus spheros. So the spheros have to have two different kinds of light. One is called the maki, and one is called the panimi. Let's go on to number kofal if we have a little bit more time. Let me see how the time is going here. Okay. So he says, number kofal. Hine ozen begematria noach. Noach. Sadek lifnei Hashem, right? So it's number 58. So so that if you took the gematria of ozen, you got the 58. So shame sad. But it is the secret of the same sad. Sad is the number 63. So you have 58 and 63. So how do you get... 63 out of 58. So he says, Chaser, the, the sag is missing the hey at Rona. So it's missing, if you take the, the take the name uh, sag, and you take the hey at Rona away from it, uh, uh, Shlomo Molchol Naran, so I guess the Shlomo Molchol is this name over here. He was a big Bukubal. I'm Bedrush Achab, so he says, overlook over there, Ki, 
base Gimel and Dalit. Tavin man the asim and hahe achrona over there. They're going to explain what happened to this final a. Kim yisham and maskil shem sak and nisker because this is where the name sak starts. As we're going to go into this for Indians that use boyer versus Hashem, we will explain this further because the word chotem I think comes out to be the number sixty three. But here we have what comes out of the ears is a fifty eight, but it's a symbol of sag which is sixty three. So he says, Oros Aznayim Hebebekinis Av the Sag. So the ears is called the top part of Sag. And I hope, to, hopefully, we'll be sending a, uh, a diagram of this or drawing of this, which will give us a better idea. We'll have to go over the drawing. Behind the Tamim Shabbat Nakudos, that is the Tamim, that's the top part of the Nakudos, will be called the Av the Sag. The Vaklalos Heim Nekrayim Shem Sag. Generally speaking, what's coming out of the ears is the Sag. The ears level is the Av the Sag. Keep it behind us nine the Mata, Maskil Shem Sag the Klalos, because once you get to the ears, then going downwards, this is all the category on the inside, as you'll see in the drawing of the name Sag. Or Ramos the Zev who Shashem Sag Pachos Chemesh. Uh, so if you take the name Sag, you take five away from it, it'll get you 58. Why? Because we're taking the hay, the last hay, and the name of Bai away from it. Oh, look at me, Noach, it comes out to be in uh, North Chaz, 58, should be Gematria Ozen, which is the same Gematria as the word Ozen. Along is Boyer Mifnei Ma, Mechasrim, Chemesh, Meminion, Sag, now Sag, so why would we do that? Why shouldn't the light just come out of the ears as a sog instead of as a 58? So what's the reason? So let's see, we have uh, another piece. Let's see if we can get through it. It's, we have, we're short on time. So he said, So this would be the top part. This this would be the what we call the Av the Sag. So we say it's also comparable to the Tamim on top of the letters. On top of the letters. <laughs> he says, Le'el shinino she'yeshnam shlosh medregas mebekinus a tamim. So we said there's three different types of levels of tamim. She'hem tamim elyonim, tamim emsi'im, v'tamim tachtayim. Hine ha'oros yotzim in the chaznayim, the lights that come out of the ears. Hem ha'tamim elyonim she'b'shem sag. So that the upper tamim, they come from the same shah sag. So then after the these upper tamim come out for the ears, so now we see there's a relationship here because we know that anybody has ears, nose, and throat trouble knows that these all these things go together. There's a, a station tube or something like that that connects all of these things, all of these different areas. So now we see at the beginning of this is, is that you have the middle tamim are going to be coming out of the nose. So the lower tamim are going to come out of the mouth. So when we have these finally come out, and then something else happens, and he's jumping us ahead, is there's another, this is all the tamim of Sag. Then it's going to become the kudos of Sag, but where they're going to come from, they're going to come from the eyes. The Moshe is boy look of Mambashar and Akuna. There's going to be a whole shar on this called Perikolog. It's a very important shar. So the lights that come out of the ears, we said that they're hidden because all you have to see there is a A. Yotzebasurus os do. We said they come out as a dollar and above of the A. And this is also Remez. To this being the shorsh of five parts of him, the Besochum, Esa, that have inside of them ten spheros. Both and Shakasar, who parts of Arif. So now he's going to go through the labeling of different parts of him again. So the oven that the kasser is a parts of a rich v'chasa bina aim parts of him called Abba Be'ima. And I really like this for us who are beginning to learn uh, the Yotzel Chaim that he repeats himself over and over again, and he gives it more and more chance for us to get used to the language of the Rav. V'chaga Nai. So then, then you have Chesed Gvor Tiferes, and that's a Chod Yisov, which is called Chaga Nai. The Haggadnagi are the parts of Aza, and Bahina's Malchus who parts of Nuk So that's the he names all the five parts of him. Those five parts of him 
are 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 uh, recognize that what's the right word? They're uh, they're uh, what's the right word? They refer to the uh, to this letter hey. So also that we can see that there's an Ezra in that. Because we said that it has a vowel a vowel in the vowel. So now we're bumping together the lights that are coming from these three places. These are three different le levels of the Tom and the Sag. We said before that Sag, Sag is really referred, the Sag of Sag is going to be a big issue over here. Uh, but we haven't got to it, of course. We're talking here about the toming. It's a very high musical note. I don't know. It's the best I can say about it. I think it's music. Uh, but but a music prayer that we can't hear. So if you take the the ozen itself, which is the number fifty eight, and you tie it to the, what's coming out of it, which is this concept of five, olim the minion sag. So that they're together, you see that they go together. They make a sag. So there, the, the, if you can't add up the gematri of chotem, you're going to get the sag too. Let's look at it. The chotem is uh, uh, is is uh, is uh, eight and six is fourteen. Another nine for the test is um, is twenty three, and then you have forty. That's sixty three. That's sag. So it by itself is a concept of sag. So it's more megula, so therefore you can see it as a sag. So let's see if you're going to tell us another secret, and we'll try to let, end up here. It's a long shir today. So he says that, that the kli that's going to be made, it's going to be made by this concept, the concept that that the the or hamakiv and the or penimi strike each other. Makim bevatrim zem bezem. They kick, they bang, and they bang off for each other. And for the banging of these two lights together, that is the light of the makiv and the and the light of the uh, of the penimi makes a kli. And as a kli gomer, it makes a complete kli. So now we've said before that the light that's coming out of the right ear is going to make uh, the or of the maki, but that's going to come out of the left ear is going to be the or penimi. So now we have the maki of the or that's coming out of the nose is going to be on the right nostril is going to be the the maki. Small. That's going to be for the small. Now we have this concept, and he's going to bring us around here in a place to stop. That since actually the lights of the ears and the lights of the nose are not they're not really parallel to each other, because the ears are the side of the head and it's up higher. And then the chos that the the the, the chotem is in the middle of the face. It's going to be straight down, and it, and the nostrils are very close to each other. So therefore we see that the makif and the penimi of the ears and the makim and the penimi of the nose are actually coming out at a distance from each other. They don't strike each other. That is the, the right ear and the left ear, the right nostril and the left nostril. So in this level then, there is no... A visible kalim because you need striking for this to happen and each and all of them are holding their own place but now here you have a different story the lights that are going to come out of the mouth where there aren't two different openings so then whatever lights coming out of here is going to come out together and they're going to strike each other and they're going to make a complete clean so this whole idea here that the concept of the mouth is a number 85 85 is 63 plus 22 22 is the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet well, we're going to say, we'll understand later that the again, as I've said before, is that the olim is made out of letters. They are the kalim of the world. <laughs>
But I look at the Isim is Sefer Yitzira, so in Sefer Yitzira, they have permutations of, of one letter, two letters together, how many combinations can they make, three letters together, how can they make a conversation. This is the way that the world, somehow the, the Almighty, created the patterns uh, of inter, inter patterns. Shachakelem heim kof pesos is because the kelem are always going to be the 22 letters. So the, the real explanation of this thing, that the real thought behind this is not something that's revealed. The, the only way that it is revealed is through the letters themselves, which are words or something that is written down. Also here, Mitzgalah or B'Shloimah, so that the Osios are going to become Kalim. They're going to be through, they're going to be the vessels that are going to hold the light, and they allow the light to be revealed.